December 24th, 2009, 30 days after I got elected as OFL president, word came across on the news that five workers had fallen off of a scaffold, forwarded them to their deaths uh, in the West End of Toronto. This was a completely and totally preventable accident. We set about at that day and that time putting together a campaign that essentially said to the public and to the employers and even to workers, kill a worker, you go to jail. That has got to be the price that employers will pay for negligence in their workplaces that results in the deaths of workers because every worker in this country has the right to go to work and expect to come home safe in the evening to their families. And that's not been happening and employers have not been asked to pay the price when they kill workers or workers are killed on their jobs through their negligence. And that's what we said about changing. Because there needs to be a consequence for all involved when there's a fatality. We need to rest assured that, we, that when we do that investigation that we uncover everything, that we find out what caused it, who was involved, what time of day it was, what the conditions were. All those things I think are things that, that are going to help us prevent those accidents in the future. And if there, I think we, we owe it to injured workers in this province to ensure that uh, we don't leave any stone unturned when we're doing those investigations. And until such times as we begin to see CEOs being marched out of their, out of their headquarters, out of the ivory towers, in handcuffs for having killed workers on the job, unless that happens, we're never going to change the culture of health and safety and value of workers' lives in our workplaces. I think some of the biggest accomplishments that the OFL has, has made uh, in terms of WSIB is that we take on the struggles and bring awareness to the failures and the issues that we're, we're struggling and taking on as not only advocates and representatives helping injured workers and their families, but also bringing awareness to the failures of the WSIB and we're there to help make it right. Everyone has a responsibility in ensuring that um, people aren't hurt on the job. It's something that I think, um, in the fullness of time, I think we're going to make progress on this. I think uh, good companies, and that's the vast majority of employees in the province of Ontario, Ontario, understand that it's no accident that those companies that are productive and profitable are also the safest, are also the ones that take health and safety very, very seriously, that engage their employees, that ask them their opinions that make sure they've got the right equipment. They're the type of people that I think all employers in the province of Ontario should aspire to be. And a lot of that has come because of the direction that's come from the OFL, the advice that's come from Sid himself as to how to approach these issues. And you have to be firm with it. It's not one you can, uh, it's not one you can dance around. It's got some very dire consequences that we don't get that right. Uh, we're there every single day trying to fight and lobby the board to ensure that injured workers have the dignity and the respect and the justice that they require to have the quality of life that they deserve.